when you're operating in fear. It doesn't happen when you're operating with doubt. It doesn't happen when you have procrastination, when you're waiting for perfectionism, because perfectionism leads to procrastination. And then you get done and you're on your deathbed and wondering, wondering what happened. What happened to kill? That's what happened. Kill is about attacking the hill. Kill is about flipping switch. And like I said, these episodes. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today is going to be a very special episode. It's based off of a four letter word, one of my favorite four letter words, and it's probably not the word you're thinking of. And this is the word, and it's going to be a very odd, unique, different way of thinking of things. Today, we are talking all about the word kill. Yes, you heard it right kill, K I L L. I'm going to break this down, what this really means to you, why it's such an important and such a valuable word and can really help you in so many areas of freaking life. We're going to break that all down here today. So first off, why do we say kill? I'm going to start off with a, a quick story about an Instagram post you did. So in the project, I, the candidates respond as a, when they're affirming that they hear something or confirming they hear something, they say kill. When I'm, when I'm giving the command, they respond with kill. So we do this one part where they have some final, some mental and emotional breakthroughs, and I get them circled up. It's usually right after the ice bath or after they've finally gelled a little bit as a team. They've kind of broken through some barriers, had some breakthroughs, and we do a little, a little chant. I break down to them what the meaning of kill is, just a brief definition of why we say kill, and then we go into this chant of kill, and it's exactly what this show is about. I'm going to break down what that means, but there was this video we put on Instagram. It was a 10-second or 15-second story, and this woman went fucking bonkers on this video. She's saying, why are you why are you saying the word kill? You need to change the word you're using. It's giving people ideas like that's a fucked up mental twisted way that people think just by us using the word kill. She's saying it's giving people ideas to go and kill like if someone is getting influenced to go kill because they're hitting a bunch of dudes that are half naked jumping out of an ice bath chanting kill, especially when it's explaining why we're saying it. That just shows you how twisted and backwards this world is. She's saying she was saying when you're home and it's quiet that we sound like I don't want to say that N A Z I N A Z I's and she said I, I know you drank a lot of Red Bull, whatever that means. She says I see you drank a lot of Red Bull. I don't know where she saw us drink a Red Bull. I've never drank Red Bull in my life, but whatever and that we're disturbing the peace and that we sounded like a bunch of the police ready to K I L L and then told us to go eat tacos, whatever that meant literally finished off the last comment said go eat tacos. So that just tells you the general public what you're dealing with, but I just thought I'd share that quick story with you as we start off because it just made me think of it as I'm thinking about the word kill and one of the last two classes ago in the project when that happened when we did a quick recording of it. So kill, let's break it down. Why do we say kill? What, what does kill even mean? What is the actual Mr. Webster dictionary? Whoever the hell Webster's it wasn't Webster, that little short black dude on the TV show. Anyway, the Webster's Dictionary definition of kill says to put an end to or cause the failure or defeat of something. See, now it doesn't just mean kill doesn't just mean death. I'm going to read that again. The def to put an end to or cause the failure or defeat of something. So think about that. Why we say kill, how you can use that in your life, how it makes sense to use this word. It also in, in computing, in, in the computer, the nerd world, in, in coding or whatever, kill is a command that's used in several operating systems to send signals to running processes, like to execute the command is kill. Like that's the kill button, the kill switch, whatever you want to call it. Like this is how commands in operating systems send signals to running processes. Like all these fit into why we use the word kill and how it reprograms the mind to think a different way and to operate a different way. And it's also to, to send a specified signal to the specified process or process group. That's also in the computer world. When you think about executing orders, executing codes, reprogramming the computer or reprogramming your mind, and then all that ties right into putting an end to or cause the failure or defeat of something. This is what kill is all about. This is why we say kill. We say kill to kill the fear to kill the doubt, to kill the procrastination. Now, I want you to remember those three because we're going to break those three down here in a second. Kill the fear, kill the doubt, kill the procrastination. And 
What I always like to turn things into an acronym, and I've played around the kill acronym so much. K is a tough one to come up with words in an acronym. So is L. So as you can imagine, this is this is taking a while. But first, when something comes up, when that fear comes, or that doubt comes, or the procrastination comes, the actual acronym of kill is to the K is just to kick ass, go right into kick ass mode, like not holding back, not half assing, but kick ass immediate. That's what the kill is. And the I is it stands. It's a triple I really because it's for immediate intentional and intensity. So it's just to go into kick ass mode immediately intentionally with motherfucking intensity. That's what the I is for. And then the light, the L is like a lightning strike. The first L is just lightning like boom. There's no waiting. There's no hesitating. There's no procrastinating. It's just l- strikes like a lightning. It's like stop thinking about it. Get off your off your fucking ass and get shit done. Move, attack, attack the hill. And we're going to again break all these down of the fear, the doubt, the procrastination here in a second. And the final L is just to finally start living life, not holding back, not waiting for perfect conditions, not waiting for everything to be exactly how you think it needs to be, but just finally start living life. That is what the kill stands for. That's kick ass immediately intentional with intensity like a lightning strike and finally start living your fucking life. So that's why I want you to start thinking of the word kill when you hear the word kill not about the police about to go do something or some uh, a Red Bull or going to eat tacos whatever the fuck eat tacos means. I don't even it was a conversation going back and forth about it because when there's there's certain comments on on the social media where I'll just literally d- block delete and that's it and not not wasting time but certain ones you want to gauge on you I want to have a, a, a try to have a meaningful conversation and this is a conversation going back and forth you know five or six things in a not really uh, going anywhere conversation but it ended with the final message this is where I w- realized all right it's time to end this one where it just said eat tacos like what the fuck does that even mean eat tacos it was, it was pretty fucking funny anyway eat tacos. So in the Marine Corps, I don't know if you know it. I, I know they used to do this back when I was in the late nineties when I went through boot camp that whenever the drill instructor would give a command, if they say whatever, go grab your your packs and your boots and meet outside in the in the pit. The response was not yes, sir. It was kill, meaning go. You're getting it done. When they say go get it done, it's kill and you just ran. You got it done immediately. No more thinking. The thinking is over. The instructions were there. They were clear. They might even say, here's the instructions, A, B, and C. Do you understand? Yes, sir. They'd say, okay, go do it. And you'd respond, kill, meaning, all right, time for talking, time for analyzing, time for procrastinating, time for all the details and information is over. It's time to fucking kill. And that's how we would respond to commands in the Marine Corps. And it's the same way we do in the project that they respond when I only myself, the other instructors have different things. Some they call sir. Some they say, yes, instructor. For me, it's kill. But it's just a response to a command. But here's the funny shit in the project. They think that when they respond kill, they think it's I am kill. They think I am kill. They think I am instructor kill. And they get so nervous in calling it. Sometimes they call it me inspector kill, which is pretty fucking funny. All of a sudden, I'm inspector gadget, inspector kill. Someone I swear last class even called me Stevie. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I kept asking about it. I could have sworn I heard him call me Stevie. He claimed he was talking to another one of the candidates who had the same first name, but Kill is the response to a command. It's an action. It's a violence of action verb. It's an acknowledgement of a command. It is not a name, but anyway, that's besides the point. So let's break it down. What do we need to kill? We need to kill the fear. We need to kill doubt. We need to kill procrastination. And when it comes to fear, let's talk about fear. What do we fear? We fear anything, everything that can go wrong. We go default negative. Whenever any situation comes up, let's say you are having people over your house and they're 30 minutes late, 40 minutes late. The first thing you think of is, oh my God, they got in a car accident and fucking died. You don't think that maybe they just want to stop to go get something at the store or maybe they're picking up some drinks, protein shakes to bring over to your house or whatever. Not going to say beers because if you watch previous episodes, you know you shouldn't be drinking fucking beers and you should kind of watch these episodes in order. If you're new to the Steve Eckert show, we are taking you on a journey, so you should watch it from the very beginning. This is a kind of a continuation of these episodes. Like the last couple of episodes was on freedom, and the one after that was on your then taking that freedom, personal freedom, and turning it into your personal freak freedom lifestyle. And now that we broke that all down the last two weeks, now it's talking about kill, like now implementing it. Okay, the planning, the philosophy, the, the frameworks are all done. Now it's time to get to motherfucking work. 
And the first thing we're going to kill is the freaking fear. Now, stop, how, about, how about you stop thinking about everything that can go wrong and start thinking about, all right, what if shit goes right? What do I need to do to go right? And in, in Stoic philosophy, they, they call it a premeditation of, adver- premeditation of adversity. Yes, you want to think about all the possible things that can go wrong, but you want to use that as a weapon, not as something that's going to hold you back and give you anxiety and increase your fear. You're using that to decrease your fear and increase your confidence because premeditation of adversity, meaning thinking ahead of time, reflecting on things that might go wrong or tough situations that might come about. If you use that as a weapon instead of a fucking crutch or instead of something to hold you back and dig yourself deeper in a hole, that could be a weapon. It's not a bad thing. That's the difference between going default negative and default positive, taking everything and turning and weaponizing everything. So think about that. If you think of, all right, here's everything that can go wrong. Here's how I'm going to deal with it if it goes wrong. Now that brings you a whole new level of confidence. You are ready for anything, ready for anything that life's going to throw at you. And you're not going to think of every single situation in the world, but it's going to help you with most situations. When you start thinking on that mentality, on killing that fucking fear, that's the way you need to think about it. And then ask yourself this simple question when you're coming up with any situation, project, decision, whatever it is, am I willing to accept and am I capable of dealing with the worst case scenario? So thinking of, all right, here's the worst thing that could possibly happen in this situation. Am I willing to accept that? And am I capable of dealing with that shit? Like imagine that. Imagine if you could answer yes to both those. Yes, I'm willing to accept this worst case scenario and since I, pre, I, I reflected on the possible things that could happen and what I'll do and how I'll react in those situations so it doesn't catch me off guard and kick me in the nuts because life will kick you in the motherfucking nuts. And if I'm willing to accept the worst case and I know I'm capable of dealing with that worst case and here's how I'm going to deal with it and I know that ahead of time, that's not going to cause anxiety as long as you're not going default negative. That's going to cause give you more fucking freedom. That's why I said this builds off the last two episodes that we had. It's going to give you more freedom. It's going to give you more confidence. It's going to get you closer to that outcome, that end goal, that journey, the next step, the next level in the journey. And when it comes down to fear, it could be broken down as simple as this when it comes to kill. Killing the fear means just killing that inner bitch. And that inner bitch is the one who has that doubt and the procrastination. Once you overcome that fear, all right, we got rid of the fear, and then we know what starts creeping in. Fear is the immediate. That's like the automatic emotion that comes in. After that, you might overcome that fear, and then you're going to start going into the doubt. And you need to kill the fucking doubt. And what is the doubt? The doubt is usually the old you. The doubt is usually the past shit that already happened. It causes it creeps up on you. Your little boohoo, poor little me, your little fucked up childhood. In the project to help overcome this doubt and the fear leads to the doubt to overcome this doubt. We actually have something called the dash. We've talked about before here on the show, but it's, it's worth talking about again where we literally have them. It's about two, three in the morning. They haven't slept or eaten in days. They're taking a little E tool. It's a little military foldable shovel and they're digging in the hard, solid dirt for hours and hours and hours until they dig their own grave. We're literally putting them in a coroner's body bag and zipping it up, pouring dirt back on top of them and then giving them some self reflection prompts to go through so they can kill that old version of themselves. They can kill that that little bitch that's inside of them so that they can kill that doubt. They can kill that fear. They can kill that doubt. And they're sitting in there literally on the verge of death because how long could you, you only have so much air and we keep them in for an unspecified amount of time, giving them some prompts to think through it and we just go silent for a, a decent amount of time till their heart rate starts getting up. They start getting a little claustrophobic. They get start getting a little short on air and as, as they finish that and they crawl and rip and tear themselves out and dig themselves out of that hole, it's a rebirth going on, a transformation going on because they've killed that previous version of the self. They've killed the old self and turned into a new self. They killed the fake self and they're turning into the real self. They killed the victim self and they're becoming the victor self, the new, not just a, a, a better version of the self. They're coming the new version of themselves. It's a rebirth. It's a transformation. Again, it's called the dash because on your tombstone, you have just the day you were born and the day you died. The only thing that tells a story is that dash. So and they're sitting there. We give them the prompts of thinking of what have you done in this dash so far up to this point and what are you going to do the rest of this dash up to that date of death and you don't know that shit might be tomorrow. It might be next week. It might be a fucking year from now. You don't know when that when that when 
that, that death is coming knocking at your door when it's ready to punch your fucking ticket. It could be any moment. So how are you going to live the rest of this dash out for how many ever seconds or minutes or days you have left? This is how you start killing the fear. This is how you start killing the doubt is by burying, killing that old you that has all that doubt, that has all that fear, that has all that the bullshit stories that you're in your head. You need to kill the bullshit stories in your head. Kill the labels that you have from childhood or from that your teachers or even your parents gave you. If they're labels that are not serving you anymore in adulthood, like you're, you're a fucking adult. Get over that shit. Kill those freaking labels in your head. Kill the bullshit stories you've told yourself in your head. Oh, I'm not a people person or whatever else. So I told myself that story, that lie in my head that I'm not a people person, and I'm still trying to get better and better at it all the time that I'm not a people person. Like the worst thing imaginable to me used to be going to a wedding because you're sitting at that round fucking table. You were like eight or ten strangers, and you're stuck there for like several hours, and they just want to talk, and you don't know who. I always dreaded going to those weddings. I would I would make any excuse to not go to a wedding, and as I started working on this shit, here's the sick joke that the fucking universe played on me. As I start working on communication skills and being more out, putting myself more out there and getting over these ripping these fucking labels off of, oh, I'm not a people person. I'm not a social person. I'm an introvert. All this bullshit you tell yourself or that were or implanted printed on yourself or that someone fucking stamped a label on you and it's just been stuck to you and you feel like it's tattooed to you. Guess what? It's not a fucking tattoo and even tattoos are removable nowadays. You need to rip that fucking label off. So as I started working on this, Here's a funny, sick joke that the fucking universe played on me. So I finally start breaking out of this shell. I'm going to be Mr. Outgoing. I actually did a challenge one time for 30 days in a row where I was going to start a conversation with a stranger. 30 days in a row. And I failed the fucking challenge. Actually makes me think I need to redo it. I failed the challenge. And here's why. I was on like day 20 something. Or I don't even know what day I'm on really. It might have, I don't know how many ever days it was. More than a week or 10 days into it at least because I was doing pretty well. And then you know what happened? March of 2020 happened. The whole Corona virus thing, and I'm out there trying to go talk to strangers and 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 meet people and conversate and communicate, and they're running away from me, covering their faces up with their double triple masks and hazmat suits and all this other bullshit. I'm like, this is a sick fucking joke. I'm finally trying to be rip the label off of not being a people person, of being an introvert, and now all these motherfuckers are running away from me. I remember, we were going for a walk. We just moved to California a few months before that, going for a walk on this trail. It's like an awesome trail and I see this this couple. It happens to be an, an Asian couple and I go up to them. And I try to start talking to them and they r- literally run away from me like I'm a fucking violent. I don't know criminal and all I wanted to do was go talk to them about the neighborhood about the walk about the trail. I asked them how far it was going to go. So I'm like this is just a sick fucking joke that the universe is playing on me as I'm finally trying to break out of the shell of not being a people person and whatever else. But the point is, kill those false beliefs you have in your fucking head about yourself. Kill those false beliefs you have in yourself that other people drilled into you, that, that, that imprinted on you, and that label that you have on you. You, you. you kill those false beliefs. Kill those labels. Rip them off of introvert, not appeal person, or whatever your labels are that you have. Not good enough. Not worthy. Not capable of success that you don't deserve success. You're not capable of making millions of fucking dollars that you're not the one in your family tree that could be the first millionaire or whatever else it is the bullshit stories the false beliefs that you keep telling yourself in your head because of where you came from or the environment you're from or the neighborhood you're from or the family you're from or or your culture or your ethnicity or whatever it is any bullshit story and, and I see it all the fucking time. We let we, we let that shit hold us back and we want handouts and entitlement just to get out of that hole like man the fuck up like holy shit that shit is not serving anymore. that way of thinking is not fucking serving you it's being a little bitch is what you're doing you need to kill that fucking doubt and kill that fear and that leads in then to the procrastination all right you killed the fear you killed the doubt and now you're still you've overcome that or at least you're fighting to overcome that shit and it leads to the procrastination killing the procrastination and what is procrastination? Press all it is is excuses. I'm gonna tattoo the shit on my fucking arm. No excuses. Killing the procrastination means just killing the excuses. It means stop waiting. Stop analyzing. Stop holding back. Stop half-assing shit. Stop waiting for perfect conditions. 
or I'll start a business when, or I'll get married when, or I'll have kids when, or I'll move to the, the area I want to live in when, or I'll move out of my mama and papa's house when. It'll never be a fucking perfect situation. You'll never have the, it'll never be the perfect time to go move to the I- environment that you want to live in. It'll never be the perfect time to buy a house, interest rates, whatever. I don't care. It's, it's never going to be the perfect time. It's never been the perfect time to get married or to have kids or to be start be an entrepreneur to go quit your job and go start a business on your own. It will never be the fucking perfect time. So kill the excuses. Kill the motherfucking procrastination. Part of the excuses, part of the procrastination is blaming everyone else. Stop. Kill the, the, the need for validation from other people. Kill also the need for blaming other people for your situation and blaming history and blaming whatever. Like I'm not going to I'm going to be not going to be apologetic for what my ancestors did hundreds of years ago. Like that ain't me motherfucker. And you shouldn't be using that as an excuse or a crutch either way. Have some motherfucking accountability. That's what killing the excuses means. That's what leads to procrastination. Having no excuses. Have some self accountability. And then procrastination on a, on a smaller scale is just kill the fucking day. Kill right now. Attack the day. Attack the hill. You see an uphill battle. You see a roadblock. You see something in your way. You don't think, oh, I better slow down. Oh, it looks dangerous. Oh, it looks risky. Fuck that shit. Be bold. Attack the hill. Kill your that time block that you're on. Kill the after your morning routine. Kill the, the time blocks you have. Kill the tasks in front of you. Kill the fucking projects that are in front of you. Kill your goals every day. Kill this damn journey that you're on. Just get it fucking done. That Kill that task list in front of you, that checklist, those priorities. I actually call it kill time. If you look at my calendar, if I could pull up right now and show you my calendar, every single morning, there's a time block of 90 to two hours or an hour and a half to two hours. It's just called kill time. It's when I wake up, I do my morning routine. I take my time on my morning routine. That's the way it works for me. It might work different from you, but I have my morning routine. Then I go into kill time. Kill time is the time where there's a do not disturb on the door. There's noise canceling headphones on and it's getting to motherfucking work on the top priorities of the day. The money making needle moving impact creating task for the day that once I get these two or three things done, the rest of the day is just a bonus and that happens first thing in the morning. That's before my workout even. That's the way because then I go to my workout and my head is clear because I've already had that kill time. So that's what kill means. It's focused. It's determined. It's intentional. It's filled of intensity. Like I said in the beginning with that acronym, the kill time, thinking of kill, not just kill time, but just the mentality of kill. This will unleash your inner freaking potential. This will help you embrace the suffering and step into who you're supposed to be. Step into the lifestyle you're supposed to live. So step into a leadership role. Just fucking kill. Stop waiting. Stop kill with the fear, the doubt, procrastination. I'm going to keep drilling that into your freaking head because your life, your, your success in life is is tied to these belief systems you have about yourself and this self empowerment that you have to just kill the fear doubt procrastination. This is all about an unwavering belief and faith in yourself and in your ability to achieve this next level of excellence this next level of greatness and to have that no doubt faith and and belief that you will fucking succeed in what you're going after, in what's yours, in what you want and need and deserve. Killing this, the way we're talking about kill is about cultivating this belief of possibility, of, a, of, a, of possibilities, of opportunities, where your mind becomes so primed to consciously seek growth and personal development that you just are unfucking stoppable That's what kill is. That's what kill is when you kill that, not, not holding back and not half-assing. And kill those excuses like we're talking about. Embracing this, embracing this mindset, you can conquer that self-doubt and that fear and start cultivating some self-trust in yourself and belief in yourself and faith in yourself to exude that freaking confidence to take motherfucking massive, decisive violence of action in every task that you come across, no matter what the odds are, no matter how big the fucking hill is in front of you. In the project we call becoming a modern day knight, and in order to become a modern day knight, you have to have that kill mentality. So you're you're equipped with this self awareness, with this discipline, with this resilience, ready to lead and ready to fucking conquer on life's challenges that come come your way. So you can unlock that inner excellence and embrace your authentic 
freaking potential of who the fuck you really are who you really are and who you're really meant to be. It doesn't happen without having this kill mentality. It doesn't happen until you first kill the fear, the doubt, the procrastination. This is all about tapping into this this energy. It's an energy. It's a life force. And so you can unleash your true potential as a, as a freaking human. That's what we're talking about when we mean kill. So now it's a little different than the fucking Red Bull and the tacos that we started with. Killing is about learning the, the art of, of balancing your strength, your energy, your confidence, and just becoming a, a fierce force in the fucking world where you embro- embrace this, this role of a, a civilized, savage servant leader who leaves an impact on your people, on your family, on your, your spouse, your kids, your team, strangers around you, your motherfucking self. That's what this kill mentality will lead to, this kill mindset, this kill switch, this kill button will lead to. It's what it's all about, and, and this is what we drill in the project about the transform, the rebirth, and rebuild to unfuck yourself and level up into who the hell you really are, who you're really meant to be, and it doesn't happen when you're operating in fear. It doesn't happen when you're operating with doubt. It doesn't happen when you have procrastination, when you're waiting for perfectionism because perfectionism leads to procrastination. And then you get jack shit done and you're on your fucking deathbed and wondering, wondering what happened. What happened is you didn't fucking kill. That's what happened. Kills about attacking the hill. Kills about flipping the motherfucking switch. And like I said, these episodes all tie into each other. Next week's episode will be all about flipping the switch and all the different ways to flip the switch. Kill is, is about killing that small minded thinking of what you are or aren't capable of. Kills about killing that little man child version of yourself that's been holding you back and putting on the big boy pants and just growing the fuck up. Manning up. That's what kills. Kills kill is killing your regret from the past. When you're you're unsure of what to do and you feel stuck and need to make a decision. Kill means do anything, do something. D-A-D-S. Kill anything. Do do anything. Do something. Kill is violence of action. Not waiting. V-O-A, violence of action. Kill is automatic, immediate, aggressive, intentional action. That's what kill is. Let, let those sink in for a second. Kill your anxiety of the future. Kill your personal fucking demons. It's time to get to motherfucking work. It is time to get to fucking work. When you're unsure of what to do and feel stuck and you need to make a decision, make the decision to fucking kill. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Stop making fucking excuses. Just kill. Move. Take action. Violent action. Stop bullshitting. Stop half-assing. Stop making fucking excuses and just make shit happen, aka kill. Attack the motherfucking hill. Violence of action. Do anything. Do something. Go all in, all out, all the motherfucking time. Automatic immediate, aggressive, intentional action. It's time to get to motherfucking work. It's time to kill. Now, if this helped you at all, or you know someone that this will also help, make sure you share this video, share this podcast with your friends, your family, your coworkers, your freaking enemy that needs to hear it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear where do you need to overcome and start killing in your life. Put it down below. Where have you stepped up and started killing? Where have you killed the fear and killed the doubt and killed the procrastination? And which one of those are you struggling with most? Let's talk about it. Leave them a comment below. Subscribe, like, and share this video. And we will see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.